Hi. Hi. As a fashion manufacturer, are you looking to maximize your profitability? Well, in one of the recent shorts videos, I had explained to look at your product conversion ratio. And some of you have come back asking, what is product conversion ratio? And that's what we are going to cover in today's video. Before that, this is Tanmaya Goswami from Fashion Business Consulting, helping fashion manufacturers and exporters build thriving businesses. So, as an exporter or a manufacturer, you know that you are working on ranges every season or every month. And in a season, at least you are creating about 25 to 40 samples for, this, for presentations. Now, every sample has a cost of product, of making it. And that's something between 25 to $30 minimum. So that means, on an average, you are spending somewhere between $1,500 to $2,000 for every season or month for developments. Well, I know that it's exciting and it's nice to show a lot of product. And the moment your buyer asks for product, you get excited in creating one. Well, one of the things which I have seen missing is people tracking what is their conversion and how do they actually look at the conversion. Because they are just presenting trends and product which they think are going to be good for the customer or have been following the market and following the trend research. But suppose if your product conversion rate is less than 10%, which is in there in most of the cases. That's where, what I realize when I have spoken to manufacturers. Then your profits are draining out there. This means that you need to really look at how can you improvise your product conversion rate. And that's only possible when you are understanding your customer really well. So three things to improvise your product conversion rate is understanding the product requirements from your customer's perspective and not only from the trend perspective and not only from your designer's perspective. Second is pricing it correctly. Because again, one price may not fit in for every customer that you are working with. So if you are really looking at the price points and studying the price points of your customer and its competitors, then you know that you have the right price points there. And the third, not the least, but the most important is actually understanding the timelines that they require for delivering that product. Because you may have a great product range and an absolutely stunning price too. But if you cannot deliver to what they are expecting, both in terms of timeline and quality, then you cannot convert it. And that is how your product conversion rate goes down. If you are able to achieve a product conversion rate of 35 to 40 percent, then be assured your profits are suddenly going to start increasing. And the second most important thing is that your customer will start loving it. Because you know, no customer wants to look at too much of product. They want to look at a few products which are absolutely right for them. So if you are looking to expand your business in the international market, then please look at creating the right products and having a good product strategy for your customers that you want to focus on. Hope you find all of this very useful because I believe that you and your business are both worth it. If you like this, please follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn, Insta and, Fashion, and Facebook for more such updates. Thank you.